In this video, I'm going to go over Festival of Lost for 2022. For those of you who have been away for a little bit, either returning or new players, a lot has changed in Festival of Lost, and I'll get you caught up in this video. So first off, why should you play? One of the great things about Festival Lost is there's something for everyone. Want a really cool new gun? There's always one coming out with the event. You want to get some lore or triumphs done? There's always something that you can do there. Do you want some great cosmetics? Whether it's new armor or ships or sparrows, there's always something there. Do you want some cool masks that'll let you look like the key characters in the game? You've got that as well. And finally, if you're preparing for the next season and you're looking for shards or for glimmer, or for you know legendary gear there is that so again there's something for everyone and it's just fun to do the core play loop is this first you have to go and get obviously your quest from Eva levante she is the vendor for this event once you get that you get a mask if you don't have masks you probably have masks from previous series if you're new or returning you may not so you get a mask again you can get multiple different types of masks you wear those in activities any activities in the game and you get spectral pages once you get those spectral pages, you can go into haunted law sectors and defeat headless ones to convert the spectral pages to manifest pages. Now, the key there is that you can save up to 75 spectral pages, but you can only probably convert 10 or a little bit more per run, depending on if you're a fire team or not a fire team, because there's only so many of the headless ones that you can defeat. But again, every headless one you defeat converts one of those pages into a manifest page. You turn those manifest pages in to gain lore and triumphs and achievements. So again, if that's kind of your jam, that's the thing you want to work on. Also, every time you're running through the haunted lost sector, you're also going to get weapons and other materials and drops. And those can prepare you well for the next season. The other thing you'll be getting as you go through the core play loop is you'll be getting candy. This candy you use to buy packages that again can do the same thing. You turn those packages, you can get materials, shards, legendary and rare gear. So again, just like most of the other events that we have during the season. One of the most important things with that is that you need to make sure you're wearing masks through all the activities, again, to get this candy, because you get the candy as you're playing through, as you're killing things, but you get the spectral pages at the end of the activity. So it's very important to do that. Now, with all that said, there is really the easiest way to get either candy or to get pages is just to do public events. I would stick to the EDZ if you're just trying to grind that up so you then go and convert them. The EDZ has a ton of public events that are going on constantly and you can even time things where you finish one and you fast travel and get ready to do the next one. I would also not do them heroic. The heroic versus non-heroic, you get about two to three pages per run and there's not much difference. And some of the heroic events take a long time. So, you know, obviously you may make some people mad because they're trying to do heroic public events, but in general just do them as normal events and just fly between the different areas you know people will tell you that there will be activities within crucible or nightfalls or things like that are faster there is nothing faster than going through and just doing public events okay guys that's a video just quick just again updating you on festival lost how it's changed why you'd want to do it and again what the core play loop is if you like the video feel free to like it subscribe to my channel jump my discord and i'll see you guardians in the tower